Hey guys, it's Merlini. I'm going to enlighten you on armor and try and help you understand it just a little bit better. So first I'm going to simplify it down with a few assumptions. Firstly, all damage will be treated as physical damage uh, for the purposes of this presentation because armor doesn't do anything versus magic, nor does it do anything versus pure damage. Next, all armor values are going to be greater than or equal to zero. This is because the formula for calculating armor and damage is going to be different at positive armor values and negative armor values. And since you'll mostly be dealing with positive armor, uh, I'm going to simplify and make it non-negative. So all armor values are all going to be integers, just so we don't have to deal with any nasty decimals. God forbid. So we have effective HP. This is the first concept that you should understand. And you will hear, hear this term thrown around a lot, effective HP, EHP. And what exactly does that mean? EHP is how much unmitigated damage you can tank before dying. And what exactly is unmitigated damage? Unmitigated damage is just the simple tooltip damage. If your hero says he does 100 damage, that's the unmitigated damage. If you're Zeus and you're throwing lightning bolts around and the tooltip for lightning bolt states 350 damage at level 4, that's how much damage you do before magic resistance and anti major spell shield and whatnot. So simply put, it's just tooltip damage. And uh, for your formula for EHP is going to be a rather simple one. EHP equals HP times 1 plus 0 0.06 times armor. And it's easy to tell that at 0 armor, this whole term gets nixed. It's HP times 1, and EHP equals HP because you're not mitigating any damage. And as your armor increases, as this value increases, your HP, or your EHP is going to go up. And this is a linear relationship. So each point of armor is going to give you the same amount of EHP. So slope like this if you graph EHP versus armor. And now that we have that formula for EHP, again listed right here, uh, we're going to calculate the EHP with some basic values. 1000 HP with 0 armor, then 4 armor, and then 17 armor. And it'll make more sense why I chose these specific values later. So using the formula with 0 armor, you have 1000 EHP with 4 armor, it becomes 0 0.06 times 4, which is 0 0.24. Uh, add 1, multiply by 1,000, 1240 HP. And with 17 armor, this term becomes 1.02 for 2020 EHP. Uh, but now that we have all this EHP mumbo jumbo, we actually want to see how much damage is mitigated, or it's a, just a fancy term for reduction, damage reduction. So the same values as before, 0, 4, 17 armor, 1,000, 1240, 20, 20 EHP. How much damage are you actually mitigating? Um, so you're, with 1240 EHP versus 1,000 HP, you're not taking 240 of the damage. That's how much damage is reduced. So 240 over 1240 EHP, it's around 20% uh, reduction in how much damage you're taking. And that's with four armor. And then with 17 armor, you have 20, 20 EHP. You're blocking or reducing 10, 20 of the 20, 20 damage that is coming in. And that's roughly half uh, of the physical damage that's being reduced, which is significantly high. So four armor, you get 20% reduction. That's about you know roughly 5% per. And then with 17 armor, you get 50% reduction, which is roughly three uh, percent reduction per so you can see like as you grow higher with armor values and you get more and more your damage mitigation is going to be less so it's going to taper off as you get very high armor values so again zero armor zero damage mitigation uh, four armor it's around 20 percent damage mitigation and at 17 armor you have 50 percent damage mitigation and this is a you know just a simple graph that shows you your damage mitigation y-axis armor value x and you can imagine the red line as it goes further and further to the right side so why is this useful i just spouted out all this mumbo jumbo about ehp and armor and mitigation and whatnot but how is this going to help you in a real game uh so let me tell you 1000 hp with zero armor you have a thousand hp with four armor as i've told you many times it's 1240 hp and 
with a vid booster, 1000 HP with zero armor with 250 plus HP with the good red stuff is 1250 EHP. But a chainmail is five armor, so four armor is four fifths of a chainmail, so around 440 gold, which is 80% of uh, a chainmail. You get 240 EHP, 1240 HP total, and with a vid booster, which costs over twice as much, you only get 10 more EHP. That's ludicrous. Why would you ever buy a VIT booster over a chainmail if you're trying to block physical damage in this particular situation? There's there's just no reason to. You're just throwing away money. So with understanding armor and EHP values, you can make better informed uh, item choices. And it'll you know you know if you're a poor support, you don't have that much gold to work with. So you got to make the best use out of it. But I'll be explaining more of this. Uh, tomorrow. So you can join me again for some more armor and EHP discussion. And please subscribe to me at youtube.com slash Dota. Hope you guys learned something. Thank you guys for watching.